also really mwaf mm. make it make sense ndalipa 300,000 hizo kwa zote yeah. ni shindo kulipa audio 10,000 mm. mm. that you make, make it make sense bro make it okay. make sense mm. kuna venyeleza shindo kulipa 10,000 mm. na video ni spend almost over half a million on it come on mm. man okay okay yeah. <laughs> na nini kwa nini basi hauko na in court speak call yake what what happened why did it get that level ya yeah, like man. Eko nene. Eko nene. Episode 257 tukisema like, subscribe, hit the notification button, tell a friend to tell a friend, ndio? Yeah. Na leo tuko na mgenge true ndani ya nyumba. Yes sir, yes sir. Na cheki tu ukitembea siku hizi lazima utembee na na merchandise. Yes, sendo, zinaitwa sendo, what is it on azitaga sendo. Eh, sendo za mgenge true. Oh, okay, alafu na cheki tu ni quality moja kali sana. Eh, comfortable mm. fit sana, yani ku travel nayo nini? Eh. Eh hey, Buda tunapeleka ni apparel another level. Oh alafu nasikia hizi zako ni mavasachi za Kenya inamaanisha <laughs> hautaki na watu eh. Hapana. <laughs> na hapo ni kinde tu. Eh yeah. uh, 10,000. Oh na soko maju ni ngapi? Maju ni 60 dollars. 60 dollars eh. Yeah. So alafu kwanza kwa maju ni easy ya ku get, si ndio? Ni rahisi because sasa production inatoka inatoka China. Yeah, yeah. Alafu natumwa gasteto immediately. Okay. It's easy, it's very convenient. Alafu maju unajua post office yao. Mm ni noma because iko my address za makeja tu ni straight post office so nikikuwekea tu kwa post office in, two, in 24 hours uko nayo yeah, okay okay okay, okay. Yeah, so mna yeah. vile susa majo make your orders now eh hey, piga order jo mtu yeah. yako piga order si yeah. pesa mengi <laughs> yeah alafu mm. tunajua wasome kwa kiku request sana yeah. uh, ju jina yako kuna vile imekuwa mentioned mara kadhaa hapa okay. but before that ni kwa tawa tubongejea vitu kadhaa uh, nilicheki ilikuwa a few weeks back ama maybe a few months back ulisema una, una regret ku endos ruto reason ilikuwa jioni eh si si siku siku taja a specific uh, okay kenya kwanza nilisema tu yani cause unajua kwa page yangu nilikuwa mm. very vocal about certain individuals yeah, yeah. time ya elections yeah, yeah. because personally me ni watu nilikuwa na trust na ni watu nisha nisha meet personally Mm. So as an individual nikuwa na, nika na juo mtu eh, yeah. character yake. Mm-hmm. But sasa the way things are going man unashindwa mm. what's happening unajua kama yeah. kama president wetu no hizi vitu vile watu wanapiga wana kelele about the high cost of living yeah. stories attacks mm. kuna ma promises mingi sana hazijakuwa fulfilled. Mm. Yaani and kama umebaka up mtu una cross two fingers unasema I hope jamaa ata fulfill hizo ma promises because watu watakuja kutukana wewe ule alikuwa mtu wako wewe mjinga ni same same way so i had i felt mm. ni muhimu ni apologize ya Kenyans because i was vocal about it yeah, uh, na tiki hata ulishiaga current ndio a eh, current tulienda tuli mm. invite hapo tukapiga story na story ya muziki mm. not just the president mm. eh, ata ata governor re tulibonga naye mambo ya ziki. Oh yo 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 meeting ya Karen hiyo. Asa yeye una separate. Oh separate. Uh, okay. Separate note. So mm. I know what to expect cuz wanajua zile maneno watu napitia kama vijana kama mm. musicians mm. watajaribu yani ku mitigate yani vijana wengi kwa mboka. Yeah, yeah. Sasa kama vijana wengi kwa mboka ina mm. kwanza ni failure. So mm. lazima utake pure responsibility tuambie jamaa poleni jo. Mm. Sikuwa na mezea. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Kus, ga, governor lakini <laughs> lazima tu mshout out juu ya sijui kama notice photography siku hizo kisha tao. Yeah. Tiki mavijana wame set up my lights wanapiga wase picha. Yeah, so least... jana jana nimepita tao mm. liko acha kama vijana wame set up hizo maumbrella. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Nini kambo kila Sunday hapa tupiga picha big up yani hivyo ndio creative economy na fai grow. Yeah, hata yeah. weekdays. Weekdays mm. kitembea. Yeah. Bado unapata. So you at least kuna kitu moja hapo ime ime work. But so, vijana wa komboka hiyo ndio yeah. sana uliza nataka vijana wako embo kwa watu wapitengeze yeah. chapa vijana yeah. wakomboka kwa endo ku ground yeah eh hey, wako wako naweza sema yeah. kuna vitu kadhaa zile wame open up film naweza sema kuna vile uh, conditions are favorable right now okay. mm-hmm. more than kitambo mm-hmm. uh, so kuna zile aspects zile ni uh, so eh hey, hukupe bwana wheelbarrow cuz anto anto <laughs> ni osola ni mimi yangu ikufike o level <laughs> he lost his soul eh <laughs> <laughs> yangu ilikuwa yangu ilikuwa <laughs> yangu ilikuwa <laughs> ile ile to real mm-hmm. nime back up tu mtu na nimeandika kwa social media nime back up mm-hmm. si ati nimekanjwa or anything yeah, ile yeah. to real tunasema huyu wacha nisimame behind uja mani one venye itakuwa pia mimi na voice unajua yeah, yeah. watu expect watu sema wasanii i'm fine to take aside right yeah, yeah. which is fair but mm. also pia si tuko na democratic democratic right ya yeah. kuvote na mm. participate mm. mm. tuweza fanya blanda na kufanya blanda 
sema pole readjust ndio mm. yeah. usiingie kimya kimya sasa tunyamaze mimi nisha apologize so that ni wa Kenya wangu walini forgive au nipiga mangoto au ni tusi jo like don't you understand that our good next time us to angushe so yeah, it's okay yeah. so good but nini tulikuwa na big ted hapa na alikuwa anasema yeah. good things zik on the way so yeah. wacha tungoje jo na still sami bado hapo ndio niko because mm. nasema na cross two fingers mm. like whatever strategy they have for this country mm. it work Yeah, yeah. Tuko na 3 years to go, right? Mm. I hope yani na cross fingers it work. Ndio mm. watu wanatupasha. Yeah. Oh, mm. kidogo wase me ime, ime work, unaelewa? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we just hope it will work. I don't know. Man. Okay, okay. Mimi kwa nafikiri maybe ulienda pale ka wheelbarrow kidogo. Lakini <laughs> at least mliachwa ka kitu ama. Cuz hiyo ndio kitu moja penless kia soka sema. That eh wasa kienda pale, hakuna vile route wanaweza acha utoke ile place bila kabahasha inakuwa kitu ka brown envelope eh yeah, lakini sasa hiyo iko point ya kwenda pale iko sababu yoka kitu mm-hmm. tuko tumeenda nae kuongea tuko tumeenda kuongea nae stories za, za music copyrights and everything yeah, but yeah. automatically ukiingia mm. kwa hiyo keja ado mm. nani mm. lazima mnatoka gatu na kapake tu ile oh, kunywa yeah. soda okay hata yeah. ukae na leo kutoka nae yeah, kunywa <laughs> soda hiyo ni lazima yani tusidanganyane yeah, situngoje tw- ni 2027 iko nene <laughs> <laughs> Ka brown envelope. Sasa wewe ziko acha dry pia. Yeah, wewe yeah. zienda tu pale alafu toke dry. Mm. Aje. Na yeye ndio sauce. Lazima mm. aache ka kitu. Yeah, kuzo kwa tiki kuna time msame share picha za nini za pasta flani. I don't think atani msali share. Yeah. Ilikuwa tu like the state house photographer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ampigo pasta ameingia akakuwa welcome to nanani anaitwa na first lady mm-hmm. by the time anatoka sana chikika brown envelope okay ona sadaka hiyo lazima lazima <laughs> alafu nini nilichekipia ulibaki ume publicly announce umejitoa mcsk yeah, reason yeah. ilikuwa nini ah uh, mcsk buda hiyo vita tumepigana for so long yani mm. and uh, naweza like your story kwe told Mm-hmm. kama unaweza interview kama siku moja unaweza kalisha hapa tu ama jamaa yeah, kina yeah. Morris au madirector anyone Mo- Morris bado yuko haya kutitoa Morris size ni ni ni, ni director i think ni director si director mm. ni CEO wa camp Kenya oh, Association okay, of Music okay, Producers okay 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 eh yeah, buda hiyo vita tumepigana for so long mm. mkatangu poxy pressure mm. yeye ndo aliniingiza kwa hiyo story mm. vitu was die change so the only reason The reason vitu was die change tulikuja ku realize hiki tu ni cartel buda mm. na si cartel ya musicians ni ini cartel ina, ina, ina stretch mpaka kwa gava mm. kuna very many interests because ini chapa ina kolektiwa ya mziki up to 1 billion mm. chapa i kolektiwa fiti manze tuna potential ya collect 1 billion ina year mm. mali 1 billion na kolektiwa ina year buda unajua interest ita kwa kibao yeah, yeah. so things will never work uh, there's a system of mcsk is, is being built to be or it has been set up to be like a circle. Mm, mm. Ya 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 members, alafu wa members wa ga, kuna wengine ni ghost members mm. wale leto hapo na parents na family zao. So every time distribution is being done, mm. kila mtu anatengeza kapake, kama yeah. mbili au tatu. That's why anafanya ngile kitu inaitwa general distribution. Mm. But ideally, the distribution inafaa kwa scientific. Mm. Nani anachezwa kwa radio? Yeah. Nani anachezwa kwa matri? Mm. Ipa hao watu when morris was there alifanyaga scientific distribution moja mm. na hiyo ndio i think it was way, way back in 2012 mm. where mimi kina jagua tuli earn six figures yeah because mziki ilikuwa inachezwa kwa radio kuna logs na kuna everything mm. Mm. sasa since kuna hii cartel ya wazae na watu kufanya mcsk kai kama sako hawataki mm. scientific distribution wanataka yeah, kila mtu kidogo kidogo eh, wanataka sayo general ndio mm. watu wameko huko ma ghost members kila mtu atengeze do mm. do hiyo ni one side Another side ni ma directore wameandika watu wao wa mm. collection. Mm. Ma administration huko ni wa mabeste za za ma directore. Mm. E, ma lawyer. So everybody apart from the musician is making money mm. in those societies. Niko na hiyo fala. Mika toka, oh. nikaingia ASCAP. Nimepigana hiyo mm. vita for so long mm. but the problem is more of mwenye unapigania mm. pia I understand kwa nini unapigana yeah yeah understand like the young musicians is a lot of awareness that needs to be done so that they understand what exactly copyright is yeah i don't know fight but ajui kwa una fight na naona pia any part of the problem kasa mm. <laughs> bonele mm. i love you man sai tuko na energy 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 yangu personally sai iko 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 kwa mtoi wangu mm. na iko kwa future yangu na biashara yangu yeah. so niliona tu acha ni divert nika join askup oh yeah. askup waga ni ya state sama eh yeah, yeah. sasa hiyo mm. ni collecting management organization ya, ya America mm. kuna ASCAP na kuna BMI mm. 
Mm. Yeah, so you work at the same function, mm. but you might you when don't decide what to do. You want mm. to join ASCAP or BMI. Benefits are good mm. and they collect for you uh, all over the world. Una tumia ga check yako kwa mail. Oh, also, okay. na mtu. It's so electronic. Mm. Unaingia go unaangalia ngoma zako zilichezo wapi, mm. logs una download, check kwa mail. Hakuna human interaction. Mm. Wametumia mm. tech. Yeah. Mali tech iko buda. Mm. E corruption kidogo itakuwa bomb. So na pick peer from Kenya. Every because now ni oh, worldwide. Okay. Yeah. Na kisa from Kenya tuseme kama iko hivyo yeah. na MCSK wana wanatuma kitu standard. So yeah. they still send the standard. Sasa so, so from Kenya mm. they need uh, things called reciprocal agreements. Mm. So mm. any agreement between ASCAP na mm. the societies that are here in Kenya. Yeah. As we speak Easy mm. societies za, za maju mm. they don't trust watu kama wa Kenya so there's no reciprocal agreement that is existing mm. between ASCAP and BMI so mm. chapa yangu ile inachezwa hapa tu bado iko hanging oh. lakini hakuna mtu anaweza igusa mm. msk mm. hawezi igusa yeah. ASCAP hawezi igusa iko hanging oh. but i can still come get it whenever things are good Mm. Yeah. Na time kuna time ulikuwa MCSK ulikuwa as a board member ama ilikuwa as a what? Si, si, si. Sasa yeah. hiyo ndio misconception inakuwaaga MCSK yeah. imekuwa tu member. Yeah. Msani yeah. dua kawaida member number 951 msabuzia mm. <laughs> mm. kwa majina. Oh, okay. Mm. Zina kwa gana number. Member number 1 mm. ni the first person who shall join MCSK. Mm. I think ni Daudi Kabaka. Oh, yeah, okay. 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 So zina kwa okay. hivyo. Mm. So ile time uta join mm. kama MCSK ni watu 15,000 wewe utakuwa member number eh, 15 yeah, zero, mm. zero that's how it goes. Mm. Mm. So me was a member. Mm. Lakini director mimi nilikuwa director wa Performance Rights Society of Kenya Prisk. Yeah. Oh Prisk. Yeah, okay. So watu confuse watu say yes ulikuwa game MCSK z mm. mimi nilikuwa Prisk. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Mm. Na as, as Prisk akukwa na vitu mgeza ku, ku change zile zingefanya some say kawe si feel and need kutoka MCSK. Okay so Prisk mm. uh, Prisk will collect for performers mm. cuz the way is rights is go split up MCSK MCSK ni authors composers mm. na publishers oh, okay. Prisk mm. ni performers mm. na actors mm. so by performers it means that mtu ana perform na mic mm. whenever your music is playing in whichever venue iko ni ma3 ni radio your music is performing yes so you are a performer that's also a right mm. and then camp ni Kenya Association of Music Producers mm. sawa ni kina msioka kina luki yeah. ama kama pia uji lipia gangoma yako you are an executive producer mm. so mm. you belong in camp mm. so prisk main function yetu tulifanya fit but problem ni eh, what are they called a regulator mm. anaitwa Kenya Kenya Copyright Board Kekobo mm. Kekobo came up with a way anataka collection kwa eh, with one license by the three eh, CMOs mm. joint license so anataka MCSK camp na Prisk mko na license jamu Mm. license ilikuwa tofauti. Oh, okay. Ukiingia kwa bao unapata kuna license ya MCSK, kuna ya Pris na kuna ya Camp. Mm. Users watu watumia mziki na watu wa biashara walikuwa nazusha. Mm. Kila time manze mtu wa MCSK amekama hapa, mtu wa Pris amekama hapa. Nyinyi ndani simkuja mm. tu na license moja. Yeah, yeah. So okay, kobo akasikia akasema jamaa mwaka pamoja. Mm. Sasa wewe niambie Buda, mnataka kuwa pamoja na kuna society pale inakuwa gana ufala, inakuwa gana corruption. Oh. How do you make this thing work? Mm. You have a joint license, right? Mm. Ideally ilikuwa a very perfect uh, uh, scenario because mm. administration tunge tunge costs zingeenda down mm. because kumbuka MCSK hapa iko na admin yake iko na CEO yeah. iko yeah. na maseki na manini mm. camp the same mm. prisk the same mm. CEO buda na pigo almost six figure seven figure yeah. sawa mm. the rest of the people are being paid so mkikuja kufanya joint licensing ina maanisha you should have one administration mm. as mm. the three bodies yeah. kuna CEO moja mm. staff mna cut down on staff so cost is standard down una than nani atakubali kitu kama hiyo yeah. na vile nilikwambia majamaa jamaa wa oh, oh, government kama best zao mm. ili fight your deadly oh okay, like, okay. vita inatoka kutoka kekobo kuna watu mm. wako na interest tuko juu mm. kuna watu wako na interest kwa masociety hapa so it can't work joint mm. licensing tulijaribu ikakataa mpaka mimi nikatoka nikasema man i was mm. a, i was a, nilikuwa chairman please at some point mm. na okay resignation letter yangu iko hata uki search online kwa interview mm. utaona kuna re- resignation letter yangu ile niliandika mm. it listed the reasons why i step down mm. i step down because i realize as much as i'm trying to do the right thing or we're trying to do the right right thing as brisk mm. it's impossible because kuna forces that are trying to go against uh, uh, the right thing yeah, sawa yeah. um na semaje pia watu askizi regulator regulator ndio mdosi wetu ndio anasema jamaa mnafaa kufanya hivi mm. watu askizi regulator mimi ni chairman wa, wa, wa society directors wanaenda against regulator mm. regulator amesema fanyeni hivi directors wanafanya different a different thing mm. and they cannot be held accountable chapa ina lost yeah. kuna kitu tunakuwa ganayo kwa society inaitwa 
social 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 cultural fund mm. collection zote zinachukuliwa every year 10% ilikuwa inaikuwa kando mm. ya social cultural meaning eh, society siku moja itauliza members wa sanii mm. aje mm. tuko na kama mita 100 hapa hii mita so mnataka mm. tufanyie nini mm. wasanii wanaweza sema fanyeni hivi hiyo building you waga si tuli parent mm. and then by building yeah. ki by building okay. mtakuwa rent mlipi mm. mtengeze studio huko we can do things to better the musicians so that's mm. that's why the amount is being set aside yeah. and all societies mm. had mm. bude chapa ile mango yote Oh, where? Well, well, deep into that social cultural fund. Mm. In a chapas na distribute either CEOs njua mechukua loan si juu gani. Mm. Is a sign mangori gani and then nobody is being held accountable. Mm. Hakuna mtu mm. ameshikwa, hakuna mtu amestakiwa, hakuna mtu ameenda jail na ni chapa sani. Hiyo mm. condition singe. Kuzio ni zile loan bad loans eh. Wanachukua yeah. <laughs> tu alafu. <laughs> social cultural fund buda mm. imemango. Mm. <laughs> Cuz I think ukis, ukisema hivyo ndio naanza kufikiria juu ya majuzi tulikuwa na stand up ya rapture na yeah. tulikuwa pale ilikuwa Nairobi cinema mm. unapata ni venue poa kabisa hapa tunapata maybe viti kadhaa zimeharibika nini mm. so kumekuwa na like such theaters yeah. place mingi because that's another thing inaweza fanywa si ndio yep. like cuz states i don't know comment hizo concerts but na chikiki states kuna concerts wao so wenda gaza ngoma na watu wamekaa tu chini si ndio da norma silikuwa nilikuwa concert ya 50 cent mm. hii tu wanafanya final lap tour yeah. norma yeah. yani set up Mm. Yeah, the the venues for performances mm. are set up for performances. Yeah. Akuna tis juu mepelekwa juu venue na kaje. Mnajua hizi venue mtakaa chini ticket ticketing. Mm. Ka ku buy ticket unaingia tu online. Venue imechorwa hapo mm. namba ya kiti una buy kiti unataka kuna yeah. kiti ya so hapa mm. kama watakuwa karibu na stage mm. kuna kiti ya 20 dollars oh. kama watakuwa huko juu kila mtu atafford mm. lakini mm. kukaribia stage ni mfuko ya mm. mfuko yako mm. eh. oh, okay okay alafu sasa wakiwa okay, nini prisk unasema ulikuwa prisk director yeah nilikuwa director alafu nikakuwa mpaka chairman yeah. so hicho ulikuwa una salary So when you're a director mm. uh, you don't earn, earn a salary mm. tunapatiwa ga uh, sitting allowance oh, okay. Okay. Hey, society zote mm. so gana sitting allowance mm. Mm. also talk your chairman uh, mm. kuna salary ni sitting allowance mm. lakini unaona ile society na kwa mbili ni TMCSK ile rogue huko hiyo mm. <laughs> 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 director jo wanakora pigwa ga salary mze mm-hmm. <laughs> mbaka chama wa kula salary aje oh. you are there to work for the musicians mm. so you get a sitting allowance mm. and as per the constitution ya kila society mm. kuna number of meetings you can do you are also busy amozi zimetunda kwa mnapiga meetings oh. daily mm. yeah. the sitting yeah. allowance mm. na wale ile zaidi gine buda ma meeting ni kama so moja yeah. <laughs> sitting mm. allowance ni ni normal so people have found a way mm. to siphon money yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. basically so ido uh, so na sema like on average mesema ina easy uh, societies collect like how much in a year they have a potential of collecting up to 1 billion mm. Morris almost got to that. Morris I think I'll collect up to 900 million. Mm. As we speak saizi ni mm. noma because they can't get to that figure sabu corruption ile imeendelea. So mm. musicians don't trust them. Mm. Uh, share, uh, stakeholders wala yeah. wala consume ziki mm. from what wa matri to what wa hotel our mm. trust mm. because wana una sasa hii pesa tukiwalipa inafikia ga wasanii makarao walitolewa makarao walikuwa nafanya ga enforcement ndio oh. watu waweze kulipa mm. makarao walitolewa because hizo blanda blanda zao so mm. right now ku collect ni noma because oh. the act the act are full mm. na hiyo kitu yote imekuwa ime spiral to everyone mm. but when things were right kuna potential ya ku uh, collect up to 1 billion hey. kuna chapa sana yeah, na mziki na kwa consumed everywhere mm. everywhere bro na sasa kuna kuwa na conflict na hizi digital ma DSPs hakuna conflict yote because mm. um, uh, DSP is a whole different kama ni digital tunaongea juu ya makampuni gani kama kina Boomplay uh, apart Spotify, from Boomplay Spotify no, it's, Apple it's, Music hizo zinakuwa ga direct engagement na na artist na the artist yeah mm, mm. it was not about royalties hizo ni, 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 ni ngoma yako mm. or either it's a download being sold yeah, or it's being yeah. streamed Mm. So that's a direct relationship between those those platforms and the artist. Mm. You don't need nobody to go collect that money for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, na feel hizo ndio zimefanya the new artist hawajali juu ya MCSK cause na kama juzi vile results zilitokea ilikuwa like wa cardinali yeah. most streamed on Spotify. Yeah. Uh, so maybe is that the reason why maybe our new school artist wako zile za ah mimi sijali juu ya MCSK. But I don't know I see sema I I don't know I wouldn't mm. know but if that's the reason mm. then you need reason ya kifala buda. Mm. Mwa gano ulize hizo streams mm. how much do they translate to in the pocket? Yeah. Umetengeza how much? Mm. Oh leo na Snoop aki, akiwika juu ya Spotify. Mm. Amekuwa na billion streams mm. na huni Snoop Dog. Yeah. A billion streams mm. amepigwa pake ya amebetumia check ya 45k. 45K. Mm. Mm. What? Yeah. 
So when you are locally mm. sawa so tuko na watu kuna million streams yeah. how much money did you make mm. Buddha mm. watu watu wa kwanza tuju umetengeza how much yeah. then it makes sense boss hakuna mtu anaweza kufikia royalties if mm. royalties are paid well mm. mimi nishali po six figures Buddha royalties yeah. kota one mm. ingekuwa kota two na three because royalties would distribute your three times a year mm. bro watu wakiza collect chapa vizuri na corruption issue kwa hii society mm. you make much more money more than easy streaming streaming mm. manze Mm. streaming platforms me squeeze in it. Mwe nimeweka tu ndio mafanzo yeah. wangu wapate wa, access to my music. Mm. But I'm, wa- I'm working on something on my website mm. this year to roll out so that my fans waweze kupata ngoma yangu directly. Yeah. Sell kwa between mimi na hao. Mm. See our middlemen. Yeah. Spotify yeah. out what they pay cents. Mm. Cents. So hata ukitengeza uko na 1 million streams na ni cents. Mm. Yeah, na kwa kado kidogo sana. So kwa kwa hyper nilipata million streams. Mm. But the money Eh, we don't toa, get hype. Yeah, yeah. Haiko. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> a, alafu pia make sure copyright haiko uh, infringed. Yeah. Na kuaga number one wewe kabisa. Yeah. So of course one of the headlines ili make ilikuwa ni last year ama <laughs> ile ilikuwa ni nini yako na Cynics. I'm on it by Monday. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it that by Monday. <laughs> <laughs> So um here yeah. Cynix ulionaje cuz kuna watu kadhaa nilicheki kuna eh no nini usema gana support ma vijana ameamua kusiu mtinda brayo history inaendaje wewe ulibalanceaje hiyo between the kid and the company so it's hard for me to discuss your story because mm. it's still in court oh okay and okay you know how matters are when they're still in court yeah yeah but just a broad uh, overview of copyright buda mm. Mm. Uh, connecting to gas sink in it uh, sink licensing mm, yeah. so for example unaona issue sasa vile tunabonga hapa yeah. issue unaweza taka kuwa na bed flani mm, mm. tukisha tusha bonga hivi unaweza decide wacha nichukue bed ya ngoma ya jamaa flani na uiweke mm, mm. right if this show is commercial it's gonna make you money buda yeah. lazima uende uongeleshe hiyo jamaa mm. either akupatie mm. uh, by writing apatia license akwambia I've authorized you to use the sock mm. or a transaction happens yeah either umkanje Mm. whatever to say okay me ngoma mucha je dollars or 5000 dollars mm. kisha mkanja you can use the song mm. but you cannot take somebody's song and go and, and sync it with an with a video mm. that you're marketing another company or a product that you're making money mm. Mm. ukifanya hivyo ni illegal kama yeah. ujongeleshe yeah. yeah. and that's law not just kenyan law it's law everywhere mm. so mimi niliona tu ngoma yangu imetumiwa mahali i'm like sina noma na ngoma like i like supporting everyone watu yeah. tiktok chukua ngoma zangu na wana dance mm. Mm. wengi na mua support mm. because huo mtu ya kuna kitu anauza yeah. actually anaji market mm. Mm. so ina pressure but umeshikilia kitu fulani unauza na kampuni mlich... kuna chapa ili change hands mm. na huku huku itisha ruhusa mzee hiyo yeah, ni ngori hiyo yeah, yeah, mm. ni ngori okay so before tufike kotini mm. mtu tu amkage tu siku moja na anasema tu tuko kombao mm. waga mm. na kuandikia yeah. eh ni aje buda na kuna ngoma ilitumika hapa manze kunaenda aje mbona mm. kuitisha ru Mm, so mm. unajibu wewe unasema pole manze nilitumia mm. iza shika hii paketi malizo story yeah. lakini ukijibu na kiburi uniambia sasa buda tufanyaje mm. sasa tunaenda the next level mm. na inapo gani levels tu mm. mtu wa mkage anajipata kotini because mm. the court always gives you a chance to um, yeah. mitigate your situation kabla mfike mbao mm. mkiona mmefika mbao mjo situation ilikuwa forced kufika hapo mm. yeah Oh, so li bonga gana boy. Of Before. course, si malaya lazima loya lazima atatuma demand letter. Mm. Akwambie mm. ni aje kuna ngoma mlitumia hapa. Kwanza mm. take hiyo ngoma down alafu come to bonge tujue kunaendaje. Sasa venye mm. uta reply ita determine your story malitaenda. Yeah. Eh, mm. Na nini uh, bajuzi tuko na bonga na Buda fulani. Um iko best no way. Mm. No Buda alisiu alisiu lakini gava. Mm. Akachotewa ilikuwa like 2016 mm. na mpaka leo aje get your do. Okay. So do you feel like is there an actual way of enforcing? Cuz Kenya, Kenya bado ni Kenya. Yeah. Like especially to say by accident ngoma yako itumike na gava. Unajua hakuna kitu utadu. Like watakwambia zile zote utadu. Utaenda to court. This person has been given this amount of money but actually getting the money. Yeah. Sasa hiyo ndio ubaya Kenya. Unajua Kenya ni Kenya, alafu mm. una judiciary yetu sasa hivi leiko mm. mpaka wanakuwa threatened. Yeah, yeah. But but one thing I know is mm. Buda kama umeshinda kesi na kesi iko hapo. Mm. Hata uko frustrated aje kugeti hiyo chapa. Mm. At some point hiyo chapa utaipata because okay. uh, judiciary iko frustrated 
ni ni gava ya leo ama gava ile itakuwa hiyo time mm. sio gava itatoka mm. kwani kesi yako ilienda wapi mm. si iko tu yeah. so atoke yeah. frustrated kwa hii government ama whatever government you are in whenever that government will change hands mm. na judiciary will be back to straight, you will always get your money mm. utakuwa frustrated utangoja sana but utaput chapa yako utapata bro okay yeah. alafu sasa uh, ya copyright pia lazima nikuulize mm. tuseme umbe uko states umelala umeamka asubuhi mm. ngoma yako imetumika like ime sample wana abanton what okay. happens next na hako amekudugia da sasa kitu kwanza tu ni sita engage directly because you see me as a mali level ya career yangu iko mm. niko na legal team so mm. legal team yangu ndo handle those issues mm. so akikamka waone kitu mm. mu watumia naambia hey mnaonaje hapa so it's up to the legal team mm. kwa mwa vile kutaenda yeah. wata contact wa mtu mm. either via phone or mm. via letter Mm. So conversation itanzi hapo. Mm. Eh, eh reason na kuuliza ni I think eh, vile ngoma hatu hiyo anaitwa nani? Hatu ya me sample bid yangu. Mm. I think jua kiulizwa nikawasema nikaa yeye mwenye alisikia kaa tayari iko out. Mm. Alafu aka decide against whatever kama watu la yeah, wacha iende. Wewe yeah. <laughs> unaweza kubali kweli. But unajua <laughs> hawaja sample I mm. think wa member tuko hiyo bit. Si hata unajua tu wa member tuko hiyo bit. Yeah, ni bitu yenyewe amemba tu kwa hiyo. Ni kila kitu ni original eh? Eh, eh, oh. Personally, mm. mi venye mu work mm. courtesy bro. Yeah, yeah. Common courtesy. Mm. It's free. Yeah. Uda ingia pale DM, mm. nishtue ni aje. Nataka kutumia bit yako ya kadha. Yeah. Wacha hiyo conversation iendelee kutoka hapo. Mm. Siezi, siezi amka siku moja nichukue bit ya mtu hata bit ya whoever yeah. na nimbe nayo mm, mm. bila kumshtua hapa mm. it's immoral man yeah, common yeah. courtesy bwana mm. personally mimi nataka courtesy mm. yeah, nishtue stuck yes. surprise okay okay yeah. i love sasa uh, talking of that e time ulikuwa na letter na juna brayo mm. kuna vile clemo pia kaingilia hii story <laughs> yeah, cuz sasa clemo iko under camp si ndio i don't know miss jika yeye ni member of camp but, but as a producer you're supposed to be under under camp, camp. Sindio. Mm. So nakumbuka acha ni, 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 ni kuna quote yako moja nilicheki ilikuwa kwa gazeti ilikuwa ignorance sometimes wa mbaya. Yeah. Ngoje ni kwanza ni malizane na influenza na the company na nikuje na deal na hii ufaa la yenu. Yes. Okay. So why? Cuz yeye mwenyewe mm. si anaweza kuwa like mimi ndio niliproduce ngoma. Yeah. So mimi ndio nafaa ku get paid. Yeah. Mm. Haina pressure. Hizo mm. hizo noma zote. Mm they always be sold. Yeah. Mose maga tunakuaga phone call awe. Yeah. Mwafu si wewe kabla uni uni interview women pigia zimu. Yeah. Yeah. Sio siku kulichomeka hapa kwa interview fulani uliniambia. Yeah. Yeah. Kwa phone call awe. Mm. Uweze enda kwa blogs mm. uonge randomly kitu hata una facts about mm. na we ni mtu unaweza nitumie email. Mm. Mm. We ni mtu unaweza nidungia. Mm. Unilize kunaendaje? The reason ni fanyao statement is because niliona amebonga mm. that kuna alafu venye an address at least ya kuna msanii fulani mm. amepigwa 1 million msanii fulani yeah yeah pia, vile vile pia unaongea wewe unaongea mm. ongeaje mm. <laughs> unaelewa mm. yeah so the yes i won the case yeah but then details au nani kesi mtu akishinda mm. the other party has a right to appeal Mm. Okay. kesi yote mm. leo mwafu shindwe kesi you yeah. have a right to appeal because mm. mm. the constitution allows you that right so mm. kijana ameappeal mm. ile kesi hata ujui nimesukumana nayo aje mm. au ujui hata nimelipa pesa ngapi malo ya wangu mm. wewe uliona tu 1 million awarded kakimbia yeah. kwa blogs yeah. come on man you mm. don't do that of course mm. tunaanza kuongea je 1 million sasa nilianza kuona watu wana discuss manzi 1 million 1 million i'm like this guys yeah. 1 million hata itatoka bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so as we speak today, mm. Casey bado iko iko kotini. Oh, okay. Mm. Cuz he appealed, mm. which is okay. He's yeah. allowed to appeal. Yeah, yeah. But problem ni who <laughs> kills <lose> appeal. Unaona mm. <laughs> tangu hiyo chapa ikwe iko awarded when the case was won, hiyo mm. chapa anza kuwa crew interest. Mm. Cuz yes, you have a right to appeal. You might appeal and win the case. Yeah. Uki appeal win the case, uko sawa. Mm. Uki appeal you lose, ile chapa ilikuwa awarded imekuwa iki an interest. Mm. na kuna interest ya court court ina kuwa na interest yake mm. so it's a inakuwa gani a um, a very murky situation lazima ukiapeal kwa 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 yeah. 
confident mm. utashinda mm. so point yangu ni ile kesi hata haijaisha bwaf yeah. tuna discuss what <laughs> million gari so hizi ni facts ungekuwa nazo mm. kama unaniongelesha mm. eh, ungekurajua mm. so hiyo ndio ilinijamisha that's why i wrote that statement alafu hii ni ni situation yenu kwa nini getting this ugly because yeah. i feel like every time i try to get into the root of it si yeah. understanding um cause nakumbuka at some point ulikuwa na tour na jua us yeah. si ndio yeah. jua ni kalif mm. kalif ni jua ya yeah, manisha kalif records eh kwa sababu ulikuwa wewe tu yeah yes yeah, ndio sana nauliza <laughs> like kwa nini ili get ugly design cuz na feel kama we na jua nyu ongea si ndio of late tumekuwa tukiongea tume yeah. tumeanza kuwa cordial we good now yeah, yeah. Oh, at some point amko cordial cuz yeah. yenu sije feel kwa hostile yako na clemondo na jua gani kwa gani fire ile hakuna hostility yeah. but uh, sisi maarif like atuongea hii Eh yeah, yeah. of late mm. mimi najua tunabonga naweza ni DM tuchapiane but kuna time flani ilikuwa haiwezi. Mm. Unajua sana hii kitu ilifanyika kitambo sana yeah, 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 yeah. So mimi nikianza kuona we are 40 year old men mm. si sasa ni mabuda. Hapa mm, mm. fike na kama mtu ataki akiaddress akiongea juu yako mm. ka hiyo example nimekuambia mtu anasema ati nilisikia msanii flani. Mm, mm. I find that highly disrespectful yeah, yeah, because we are I men. Know, I know, I know. Men talk. Mm. Sasa sisi watoto wadogo. Mm. Um, so kukario bile from way back. Mimi sina gano na mtu wote. There's no way utakuja kusikia randomly ni maongea mbaya juu ya Clemo mm. ama ni maongea mbaya juu ya Jua. Mm. I always react. Yeah. When you do something, mm. I do something. Mm. For every action there's an equal reaction. Mm. But randomly uweze nipata tu na choma mm. na ongea utiaji, mm. mazi. I'm not that. Me I wasn't built that way. Mm. So I don't know Miss Jika meo beef iko ama iko but problem yeah. ni unajua vile mimi nilichomoka huko na nikaendelea maisha yangu mm. eh, maybe watu wali feel some type of way but man we are grown men right now na kila mtu ana biashara yake kila mtu anafanya mambo yake mm. yeah, hapa kwa na manoma kama hizo oh okay yeah. na nini so in hindsight eh uh, ama kauni za tupeleka to your time yeah. ulitoka after we kamu uh, when they leave Calif records we kamu Mm. Manzo Nairobi we kamu nilipiga Keroro Keroro ni fanya si nilipiga gana na, na msioka eh, actually after we kamu was ideally ni I wanted my first album to yeah to come out hapo mm. ndio tulipata na ka, katashwishi mimi na Clemo mm. cuz mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa very over ambitious let me say mm. nime drop mm. two three singles mm. na feel it's time for an album mm but uh, Clemo maybe alikuwa na feel different yeah. so yeah. we had a conversation nikamwambia kama album maybe then i think it's time for me to mm. pack my bags mm. na tukasheka nzi kwa ni sawa mimi mm. kaenda na whatever i had mm. na yakabaki na kali records and whatever mm. and i i walked away and that's how nikaenda nikatoa album ya kwanza yangu now mm. mm. cuz ilikuwa na manzi wa Nairobi we kamu ni party mm. then Keroro ilikuwa hapo ile original yeah wali tuacha Mm. Eh, yo album yani hanya ring game yani yo track list yote ilibidi niende ni, ni release kivi yangu. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So hiyo ndio ileta ganoma that's why I left Cali. Yeah. yeah. Oh, alafu it was a US li happen when cuz I remember like around the same time ukatua pamoja. Tu yangu ya kwanza mm. ilitoa gatua I think ilikuwa where was it, is it 2005? Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was my first tour in the US. Mm. Ita mko na jua ama? Eh niliambia watu 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 mm. siwezi kuja show peke yangu nataka mm. kuja rajua kali. Yeah ati hapana wanaambia budu unajua lazima kuje peke yako ma expense naambia zi mm. jua alikuwa si unajua jua alikuwa arifu yeah, wangu yeah, yeah, arifu yeah. wangu mbaya so mm. hakuna venye ningemwacha so tu yangu ya fast tulitoa na yeye mm. tukazunguka states men tulizunguka ma states kiba i think we did like mm. 25 26 states yeah okay okay mm. like, like, yani, miezi ngapi back tulikaa kwa karibu 3 months mm. Eh yeah, uko ndo pia nilishoot video nimetoka mbali iko na maclips mimi yeah, yeah. ile unashana wangepa ile eh yeah. okay, okay. kuzishona eh yeah. yeah, mimi ilikuwa ni hivyo buda mimi nilikuwa gani malindaenda bring my boy with me yeah. okay yeah. okay alafu hii time nini uh, this is early 2000s eh uko mm. ma 2005 huko hiyo ni 25 25 if i'm not wrong hii time kama na 26 cities how, how many I'm at 26 states. How many shows are you doing like per Yes, in your 26 states ni kila, kila state show, ni show hey, kwa back to back. Mm. Alafu ilikuwa mnapiga Friday, Saturday, mm. saa zingine Sunday. Oh. Munaingia kwa road. Sasa tour mm. vinye imepangwa, mm. imepangwa the tour organizer amepanga route. Mm. Alafu hiyo time manze <laughs> aku kwa gana hizi map GPS yeah, mm. ya simu. Mm. Ilikuwa ni actual map. 
what was the tour kwa shika map hii unasoma tunaenda Minneapolis ni map alafu unaangalia barabara map akukua na hii man oh my man au nikumbushe kitu tunacheka so wanapanga tour as per route tutaanzia Texas tuke Texas to Houston which is Texas still to Atlanta wanapanga hiyo route Mm. So mkishamaliza hiyo mnaingia rodi mnaenda hoteli mnalala mkimaliza hiyo show the next state so mm. inakuwa it was fun man oh, fun sana okay. yeah. alafu your time na, na feel ni kama touring as a Kenyan artist was easier than now is that true ama ni yeah touring was easier there's this thing on your time mm. Kenyan music ilikuwa rare yeah na watu wote walikuwa watu wa diaspora mm. walikuwa they were looking forward wanataka mziki ya Kenya mm. right mm. sasa kuna mm. internet so mziki yeah. is accessible hiyo mm. time mziki ikuwa easily accessible mziki wetu ya Kenya ma DJ walikuwa na kama hapa sio kama kama DJ walikuwa kuja Kalif ngazini yeah. tunawachomea yeah. CD mm. CD ama mix so that was the test to zikuja test to wana ban wana share na mabest kusikiza kwa moti mm. that's how music got into this uh, ili, ili ngevo, i, i area ya US na tukaanza kutua Oh, okay. Mm. I believe right now touring should be easier. Yeah, yeah. Because music is accessible. Yeah. Ukitoa ngoma leo YouTube, everyone in the world may part. Asia tu kwa level luxury, si kwa lazima CD tembe, mm. itembe. Mm. But then again, mali noma imeingia, sasa hii kuna ma fans or or people are spoiled for choice. Yeah. Muziki ni mob, mm. Niki kuna Kenyan mm. music, kuna bongo, kuna mm. mapiano, kuna Nigerian. Sasa hiyo pia kidogo imeleta mm. tashwishi ni hard kutua because na hao watu they have options of music. Yeah. Sisi time yetu manze Kenyan music ilikuwa gold. So the fact that wanapata hii muziki wanashindwa ama jamaa kwanza wanaongea sheng. Yeah. Sheng kwanza ilikuwa rare kwa muziki. Mm. So hiyo kitu mm. ina, ina create ilikuwa ina create buzz mm. and that's why we were able to tour. Oh okay. okay. Site warning ina zafanyika mm. but problem ni eh, wa Nigeria wame take over hiyo area msikizao yeah, yeah. zinachezwa kwa, kwa, kwa radio mm. zinachezwa kwa ma club mm. ma DJ pia wana push certain type of music yeah. that time we had DJ specifically pushing our music. Mm. Kama unajua jua na tua ama nameless ana tua ama DJ wana make ma mix strictly mm. za nameless zinazunguka oh. kila mahali. Mm. Ilikuwa very intentional. Mm. Sasa hizi vitu ziko free fall. Mm. DJ mmoja anaamua vile crowd inampeleka kama crowd anapenda mapiano DJ utengezaga mix za mapiano hakuna mm. vitu intentional mm. if things are not intentional kutua ni ngori oh, okay. kutua ni ngori mm. jina yako iko kuna wasanii wengi muona hapa Kenya mm. they're very big or yeah. they're big yeah. on YouTube Buda, yeah. America kuna mtu anamezea yeah. na sikusi kupenda kwake kama mm. kuna intentional push au msanii yeah. yeah. kutua pale itakuwa hard mm. very hard alafu pia dynam- dynamic nyingine imetokea Awa tu kwa steto sisi sasa watu wa diaspora mm. tuna watoi yeah. sasa kuna another new generation imezaliwa huko hata ijui mambo ya Kenya yeah. na inasikiza sasa ma afrobeat na manini yani sasa dynamics zimechange sana okay. strategy needs to be sasa mm. lazima strategy ngori sana ukitaka kutua US or, or Europe or wherever kama mm. uko build brand back in the day eh uh, ni crazy but if you, if your brand was big back in the day it's easier for you and if you are new now you need to work on how to build your brand and push your name out there yeah. intentionally mm. yeah oh okay na nini so e time mko of course we get your opportunity to share ma juu mm. uh, kuna ile excitement to come si ndio <laughs> so ina maanisha pay see you time you just take any pay ama Zizi zizi zi, zi. mm. okay tukianza gangoma mm. men unakumbuka tukikaanga tuki zini mwafu kuna kuja unapata tuko na malips zimekauka men tunakula <laughs> <laughs> gachipo za msoro yeah yeah shows ni kwa gatao mm. za zingine hata mm. shows za bure yeah but as you advance once you pick to as a state of buda mm. eh hey, zote mm. kwa zinalipa yeah it's oh, like a check show up do hivi alafu ni do jaishika mzee na ni dola wewe umetoka kulipwa tao mtaani eh no so na uli sasa basi tukuje kwa hii history ya pay um madaraka festival eh because mm. one of the things ni nakumka hata nikifikiria jo madaraka festival ya 2023 yeah. na kumka kuna moja uli attend yeah. and apart from attending i think ulikuwa na kitesla ama kuna around your time kuna kitesla plan eh hey, kuna... tesla plan mu tesla yeah. nayo yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so ushaishia item ulishia tuka fun eh mwenye mwenye madaraka festival nilikuwa na like Kenya medu like whatever he was doing like, yeah. and, na pia venye ame package festival yake ni fit mm. unajua mm. kama ni maveni wanachukua maveni na manoma zile zile yeah. eh, wa America uenda mm. zile mm. wa Nigeria ufanya so mm. hata ku come out for a show mm. inakuwa ni an experience yeah. and i like that mm. and kama approach tukaanza kubonga na msupport unaelewa mm. mm. cuz ni rare sana kuona promoter 
wa US ame go all out like that. Yeah. Au wengine wanapiga ga na si ati na throwing shade uh, mm. weko poa cuz mm. ni mfuko yao. Yeah. So mfuko yao ina allow kufanya tu show tudogo tudogo. Mm. But huyu jamaa kuna ujanja amefanya yuko na mfuko fulani big na mwalao kufanya show hiyo level. Yeah. Yeah. So that's commendable. Mm. So that's why nilienda hiyo show cuz I think um, kuna boy wangu anafanyaga mashow Maryland anaitwa Piwizi. Mm. Alikuwa na host show ya Sauti Soul. Mm. Oh. Eh, and that's why I pulled up. Nili mm. pull up kusho kwanza support kwa Sauti Soul mm. na ku pull up kusho support kwa jamaa because ni show ni show noma. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's why na tukabonga na mm. kwa jamaa mkuu. Mm. That's how mimi naitu lianza ku involved. U sasa ni Javan. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Alafu okay. sasa ikakam hii hii offer ikakuta sasa ni ya 2024. Eh, yeah, so see from here mm. kubonga na nini? Mm. Um siku moja nilitumia gatu DM akaniambia uh, mm. I would like your bill mm. for my next Madaka festival. Nikamwambia mm. cool man I'm humble bro. Mm. Uh, let me know next time when you're yeah. planning the show. Mm. Kanambe sawa tutabonga. Mm. So tulikuwa yongea tena for a minute. Mm. Uh, shows kafanyika. Atukutukua cool. Yeah. Then one day akaniandikia ni acha I'm going to send you an offer letter. Mm. Uh, then tuone kama tafanya Madaka festival ya 2024. Mm. In go down. Mm. Mm. So I didn't expect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me ata yacha ni kuambia like in my mind mm. kama na jofa leta ina mm. there's a minimum I know that. Yaani kuna chapa fulani na jo yezi kuwa na na yeah, tunaweza yeah, kosa yeah. na jo chapa here and mm, then we can mm. negotiate. Yeah. But si kwa imagine <laughs> jofa leta ni za kavio design so. Yeah, yeah. So when it came nikasoma nikasema mm. okay. Mm. Kajiambia maybe ujama um maybe a dream in nani so mm. uh, Ah me saw zero like zero bro kwa nene amekidogo zero eh 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 muda kidogo each of my ways him say hebu check check labda umefanya kitu blanda akaniza kwani uko kutaka nini of course nikamwambia nikamwambia okay kama unanipatia 10 cities of course na consider kuna ile chapa ya charge if you give me 10 cities i'll give you a discount right so nikampatia ofa yangu Mm. Ah karambia ofa yako haiwezi. Mm. Kisa vile pia aliniambia akuniambia aliniambia design ile niacha nikifeel kidogo. Yeah, oh, some oh. type of way. Mm. Mm. Aliniambia nimebonga na watu wangu mm. eh, na kula kidogo kidogo nasema eh, brand yako. Hiyo mm. mm, ndio value ya brand yako. So I don't think hiyo value wewe umetupatia mm. eh, inaweza. So according to my team mm. value yako ndio ndio hiyo. Eh. Oh. Buda nilishtuka. Eh yani mimi nimekachidi Mm. Mko na vali yangu mm. punch. Yeah, yeah. Punch to a states mm. <laughs> cool. Mm. Mm. 5000 dollars ni pige to a 5000 dollars 10 yeah. cities. Na hii unakuambia ka set <laughs> set ni how long? Maybe uko nafaa kuimba tu kitu moja utoke. Hata kama ni kitu moja utoke. Ama pia yangu peke yake muda mimi mimi naingia club eh. Mimi mimi ulipo kwenda club bro. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Club appearance. Mm. I get paid for that. Yeah. Ata si 500 dollars mm. kuingia hold. Mm. Na upigwe mm. drinks na watu wako na food na mjibambe. Yeah. Ata si 500 dollars. Mm. So yeah, hiyo mimi venye tu uh, ali respond I was like felt it's a little bit, not a little bit. Yeah. It's disrespectful. Mm. Yeah. So tulikuwa naye hapa wewe pia kazusha kasema unge uko na faa kudeal na yeye in private. So wana sema uli try. To try to deal private. in yes. private before when the public. Mwaf kabla kitu yote mimi nifanye publicly. Mm. I don't act spontaneously. Yeah, yeah. Lazima kuna conversation ime happen. Mm. Kuna script. Unajua sasa tukianza ku, tu, ikiwa ni ku prove mm. niko na screenshots. Yeah. Yeah, stuck is to kufanya. Yes, I talk to the Najwa. Najwa. Lakini mm. kikwani at the conversation like could happen, mm. I can pull up all the conversations that happened mm. before it got to where it got. Yeah. You understand? So eh yeah, palikuwa na conversation buda hii kidogo iko chini. Mm. Sawa, hii yako haiwezi. Lakini sasa team yangu imesema kidogo brand yako. I'm like, huko shwa. Huko shwa buda kabisa. Mm. Shukran. Nikastep. So haku move for even a dollar above 500 ay, 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 even ay, ay, after ay, negotiations ay, ay, ay. Buda value mm. yako team mm. imesema ni so tano mzee Ooh, okay. sawa okay. okay even your team imesema mm. aina ngori mm. sasa mimi nikachukua tu nikapatia tu ikachukua tu hiyo uh, offer letter nikaeka online mm. ndio pia watu wone value yangu yeah hiyo <laughs> ndio value yangu Eh but naelewa naelewa eh nini na kwa gati Many promoters ni shonge nao sikuwa na conversation mom sana za mm. 
mm. hata si nimekuja hapa Kenya yeah. si mwana nimepiga matua back to back to back mm. nimepiga coast nimepiga ld hai nimepiga kericho eh kwa kericho si ld okay mm. mm. chako sana mm. umeona mm. contract yao tumetolewa pale yeah. tuna ito respect nipatie yeah. 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 130 yeah. ni wizi wa mabavu yeah. 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 so na understand Kenya kuna vile art kuna respect flani yeah. art haipatagi but more yeah. of, mm. you determine your value yeah yeah Yeah. By the time when they show walikuwa wamepiga discussion una get so ule jama ule ni mtu wa biashara yeye anaangalia ku cut costs so akiona mko mtu tano hiyo ni jeshi yeye ata kupiga stick but ule amwa value yako ni nini you determine your value bro iki atu ni memeka yeye una determine value yake you determine your values that important man Okay okay okay. Alafu sasa still talking of nini controversy zako. Another controversy of course ilikuwa Bobby Mapesa. Ni bora na controversy hizo nikuta mzee mwaga I was just chilling. Yeah but ila mli release ile ilikuwa classic. Yeah. That's a classic song. Akunka sisi tulikuwa Ghetto Radio time. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa ikosi kwa playlist ya Breakfast. Yes, Mtoto yeah. mzuri the remix ilikuwa ngoma kali sana. Mm. So ilika aje ikafika this ugly level ile pia mnamalizia na online because pia ina niko sure cause uh, this is what bobby alisema yeah. alisema mlidungoma yeah. alafu amkusign ilikuwa ni split sheet uh-huh. alafu vile amkusign split sheet ikakuwa mm. ngoma ikaanza ku hit yote ni like, oh shit we mm. didn't do the business side of this song yeah. let me reach out to nini akasema mm. i think maybe the first time alikudungio li pick call mm-hmm. uka ukamuze nini na happen Mm. Kasema ni aje Buda tuje sign in split sheet. Mm. Alafu afterwards you never received this call, you never replied any of his SMSs and what so like feel like some type of way about it. So, where your recollection? Uh, I need watch your interview. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I, I watched it very well. Mm. Na you remember split sheets manze? Mm. Yes, Dani nilisikia sana but let me tackle it. Yeah. One miss mm. naga bifi wote na mtu wote. Mwaga nimenyamaza. Kwanza nikisikia mtu akiongea sinaga time. Yeah, yeah. Kwa busy Buddha niko Mayolo Buddha tunatengeza chapasi. Huko ni tuna work by the hour. So yeah, yeah, my yeah. time is very very valuable. <laughs> But leo let me give you a little bit of my time. Sababu yeah. niko kwa iko nini podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um kuna wasanii wengi sana nime collab nao. Mm. And, and back in the day atakuwa tumejua mambo za ma tulikuwa tunajichanua ya copyright. Yeah, right? yeah, We were yeah. learning by the go. Mm. So kuna ngoma mingi sana zina split sheets za way back in the day. Mm. But when we started knowing about copyright and why we need the split sheets, mm. tukaanza ku sign. Sasa hata nikipiga mangoma hata kuna ngoma naenda kushoot video on Tuesday. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kuna split sheets, mm. right? So we started mm. doing that eventually. Mm. So unfortunately, hiyo ngoma ina fall is on my era. Oh. Tuko tunapiga hata Friday. Mm. Tupiga Friday, but then again, mm. hata kama ngoma ina split sheets, mm. kuna automatic copyright that a song has. Yeah. Kama mtu yuko kwa ngoma fulani Si Bobby kwa kwa ngoma, mm. si aliandika lyrics zake. Mm. Yeye ni Arthur wa lyrics zake. Yeah. Hiyo ni right iko nayo kwa hiyo ngoma. Mm. Mimi niliandika lyrics zangu, mimi ni Arthur. Mm. Right? So mm. that's a song. Yeah. Then song iko na right kingine iko na producer. Mm. Act actually composer who mm. make beat. A beat ilikuwa ni? Eh hiyo remix original ilikuwa ya Mike Black. Mm. So we fed from the, the original mm. ndio tukatengeneza remix. Mm. Ukisikiza original sounds almost like the remix but remix ili ili, 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 ili a few elements. Mm na Jesse wa Ketebo. Oh, okay, okay. Right? So he's the mm. composer. Mm. Yoni right pick hapo kwa hiyo ngoma. Mhm. Mwenye analipia ngoma. Mhm. Na sasa unaona kama mwenyewe, unaitwa ga executive producer. Yes. Ama anaitwa ga executive producer na pia anaweza kuwa publisher if it's a company. Mm. Okay? Na pia yeye ndio anakuwa ga owner of the sound recording. Mm. In most cases, wao jamaa wao gani jamaa mmoja yeah. ama in other cases wao gani jamaa different. So mm. in, in terms of record label kama record label ndio ulipia project ya mtu mm. record label becomes the publisher but kama mtu yuko under record label ni individual that yeah. individual becomes the publisher so in this instant mm. hiyo ngoma mimi ndio owner of the sound recording yeah mimi ni Arthur pia tu kama yeye vile aliandika ngoma mm. na mimi ndi publisher kwa hiyo mm. ngoma because mimi ndio ko responsible ku make sure hiyo ngoma ime hit mm. ime make a budget ya marketing and everything yeah, yeah. na mimi bado ndio executive producer yeah. ndio nilikanje hiyo ngoma mm. nilisikia kusema ati siku kanjia hiyo ngoma yeah, yeah, correct yeah, i think alisema yes. kiki come to get table yes eh yeah, yeah. so, yeye alilipa aliwalipa i think <laughs> so listen mm. mof Ketebul nilifanya ngoma mbili nao. Nilifanya mm. si lazima mm. with the unit mm. then nikafanya mtoto mzuri remix. Mm. Ketebul inaoniwa na Ubudo oh, itwa gaje nimesahau Buda fulani sana na mheshimu sana. What's his name? Yeah, the owner of Ketebul. 
yeah. iko to pale south bay yeah, so jesse mm. is an engineer mm. in ketebul mm. ketebul ukiingia you have to sign a book yeah iko hapo ndani so mdosi atakuja angalia nani alikuwa studio leo mm. mm. ketebul kabla utoke na ngoma mm. una work na producer lazima uko umekanja mm. whether you like it or not that's their business model mm. mm. ketebul nikitoa ngoma hivi ati nimeenda nayo nje yeah. lazima iko imelipiwa hakuna ngoma inaweza toka kwa hiyo studio kaijalipiwa mm. sawa so that's number one. Mm. so that means i paid for that so that's why i'm the owner that's why i'm the sound recording i'm the owner of the sound recording mm. that's why i'm the executive producer because i paid for it mm. secondly your video link cost 300000 mm. yeah if i remember mm. 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 and it tambo and it tambo shoot your video oh, and okay. he can he can he can testify to this yeah yeah na ni milio gani sasa publisher sasa na ile role yangu ya publisher yeah. nimeka budget ya marketing which is 300000 sijui mm. presenters sijui tafanya nini mm. nikaenda nikatafuta location mm. location nika haya mash auto mm. kwa ash yeah. akanipatia mandhari hizo magari unaona hapo hiyo mm. ni cost mm. nilipia mm. so really mwaf mm. make it make sense ndalipa 300000 hizo cost zote yeah. ndio shindo kulipa audio 10000 mm. mm. as that you make, make it make sense bro make okay. it make sense mm kuna venye naweza kushindwa kulipa 10,000 mm. na video ni lispend almost over half a million on it come on mm. man okay okay yeah. <laughs> na nini kwa nini basi hauko na in court speak call yake what what happened why did it get that level ya like man, i'm not speaking your call we are not talking it happened bro mm. i think your time to mobs kwa zinafanyika jo mm. so ukitaka kunipata unaweza nipata bro yeah kama kama wewe best yangu uwe nameless uwe nani anyone utaka kunipata utanipata mm. ukinipigia mm. simu nikose kupick leo si utanipigia yeah. tena na tena utanitumia message mm. secondly kama unasema ngoma hujai product yote kwa copyright unasikiza rights nimesema mm. ngoma iko huko MCSK iko registered under MCSK Prisk na kam yeah. right yako iko hapo e, e, camp na Prisk mm. mimi right yangu ni kujicollectia my share yeah. so wewe ukienda camp na Prisk waangalia uko ngoma gani mtoto mzuri mm. wewe ni nini apa mm. your share is there because how okay. royalties oh. are paid out mm. ngoma yote hata kekobo akichukua kuna mm. kitu inaitwa ga and diver system online ilianza juzi though mm. but hata kama hiyo system ilianza juzi it's, it's 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 what is the law of copyright yeah ngoma ki royalties kilipwa au angalia ngoma ni nini featuring mm. bobby so mm. wanajua bobby also has a right there mtoto mzuri tena anaangalia who's the publisher yeah. mimi niko hapo MCSK as the publisher who's mm. the composer tuko hapo si wao watu wawili as the composer mm. who's the owner of the sound recording who's the producer company priest mm. so right hizo mm. ngoma zile zangu mimi nalipwa mm. so MCSK kilipa royalties they hold ile chapa yule mtu mwingine they mm. never pay out each chapa yule writing ile to the other person yeah. because MCSK is a sweet one all all those so any ngoma hata kama ni friday mimi mm. nikilipwa royalties a friday jua kuna chapa imekuwa withheld ya nameless Mm, mm. as a composer of that song as, as a as a author of that song cause aliandika yes yeah. zake mm. but yes he labda kama yeye ndio owner of the sound recording peer yeah. yeah so akuna mimi unasema ujai lipo royalties it's not my responsibility to pay you yeah yeah <laughs> okay kwa msiske utalipwa mm. and it's not my responsibility kukuchanua juu ya copyright mm. peer jichanue man so my man kiasi bro oh okay yeah. na nini uh, so hizo kolaboka hizo zikuwa gana zile za i'm paying you a uh, a fee for featuring on the song ile like niaje no, no, hiyo time hiyo yeah. time a collab zetu zilikuwa best for example hiyo collab ya mtoto mzuri mm. it, it would never have had happened mm. if it wasn't for nilikuwa na manager alikuwa aitwa Tol mm. Tol squeeze uko Texas ana yeah. company yake in it wa Genge Entertainment tunakumbuka Tol mm. mm. Tol at that particular time mm. alikuwa na manage bugs yeah so Tol alikuwa kamkali fa niambia abo oh. kuna haja mwa ito bugs man see mm-hmm. naweza like kuimbe nao Yeah. So Tol used to all constantly ananisumbua. Mm. So siku moja nikasikiza Tol nikamwambia nani hawa? Mm. Twende studio sawa. Ile mtoto mzuri nilifanya ga original mm. naweza mpatia tupige remix. Yeah. So that's how it hakuna mm. dinkasi tulikuwa maarifu mahali. Mm. Tol ndo alifanya hiyo remix ifanyike because yeye yeah, ndo alikuwa na manage mm. na alikuwa na need ku ride hype yangu kidogo ni wasukume. Yeah. I was okay I'm, I'm cool with it because walikuwa kali man bugs mm. walikuwa mm. deadly kwa yeah, yeah. nasema damn mm. haja mm. mm. deadly. Mm. So if I can offer my my hype Mm. cos pia time mimi nilikuwa weka muko ni yeah, yeah, peak manze kameenda yeah. mm. so hiyo combination ilikuwa deadly mm. without toll mtoto mzuri remix ingefanyika cos oh. original already ilikuwa yeah. na original tulikuwa tushatua tuko na venye imependwa mm. tukasema okay if you do a remix and you have 
put uh, bobby hapo ndani mm. itamfungulia njia yeah. so si ikisha kufungulia njia after hapo what you do with it is up to you mm. na hivyo ndio muambie kwa watu na collab i'll do a collab with you yeah. right after that mm. up to where because nisha kufungulia njia mm. keroro side mefanya remix na ile kijana wa voya aitwa mtemi yeah. yeah. nimekuweka kwa light ya watu mm. after hapo buda yani it's up to you you can take it wherever you want to take it mm. either you choose kujam kama yako ikuendelea ama upick na hiyo hype na uende nayo mm. yeah Oh, okay 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 because eh, okay i hope one day mta nene go za za classic yani yeah. well, <laughs> it's so bad that uh, ngoma ni kali hivyo alafu the people who did it pamoja yeah. uh, see i twa so am kwa perform pamoja ever i because at jai pata na kwa show moja mm. show zangu ni different yeah sijui kama una kwa kwa show so at jai yeah. kongana mm. you see mm. kama how can i put this una kama nameless mm. there's a likelihood to reza kongana kwa show moja yeah kuna time tuweza book you na staff. Mm-hmm. So I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, kama understand, kama understand. kama hakuna likelihood yawe kwa kwa show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Catalog zenu zina. Eh. Hata juice it was funny. Nimepiga mm-hmm. show cost, nimepiga show jump off eh uh, mm-hmm. 31st Madaka eh, ilikuwa jump off festival. Yeah. For the first time tumekuwa the same show na na, na major. Oh. All those years Jai kwa show moja na Major. Yeah, Kumbuka yeah. Major ni ni era different na yangu kwa yeah, kujaliita yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Alafu mimi hizi mambo zangu nisha ni move niko steto. Mm. So hakuna time shape patana kwa show. Mm. So for the first time tuweko kwa show moja. Mm. But unfortunately when the promoter li panga show Major li perform 30th, mimi perform 31st. Oh. Yeah, so mm. kupatana kwa show gani lazima ukume build brand yako design flare ndio mm. tunaweza kutana kwa show. Mm. Yeah. Kus-